by any other name is a memoir written by the Indian writer, Santa Ramaro. This woman was living at, at, at a day when, in, when India was occupied by English, by the English people, and by any other name represents how the English people were humiliated in their own country. They were not allowed to express their thoughts, to express their feelings, to show their tradition, to express their identities. The first example of a humiliation was when she joined the school with her sister and the school was English because no Indian schools uh, were giving uh, significant certificates that would qualify you to, the, uh, to life. Okay, at that time, we find that Santa, this is the writer, and her sister Pramila joined the school. And um, of course, the school was run by English people and the building, although it was in India, it had the uh, English uh, style, uh, uh, the washing, or let's say the, uh, the paints were dark to suit the, Engl the English environment, although the in, in India it was very hot. So all Indian buildings were, uh, let's say, uh, all Indian buildings were uh, using uh, bright colors, or let's say white colors. The English were using dark colors because it suits the, uh, the cold weather in, in England. Anyway, the girls introduced themselves to the headmistress. One was called Pramila and the other one was called Santa. And the headmistress, of course, did not accept these names. She had difficulty coping with the names and Santa became Cynthia. Okay, and Pramila was being Pamela. Anyway, it happened that uh, um, the Indian people were thrown at the end of the class about four of them in a class of 20, let's say, it shows that they were a minority. They had to group together and uh, during exams, they were monitored because the Indians were cheaters. That's what they were told, okay? So this is an example of humiliation. Another example of hum humiliation is uh, you're calling them by some English names because the English names are Nice. The Indians were not. Uh, of course, the elder sister wa was somehow more revolutionary than uh, uh, her sister. She did not accept it, or at least she did not say that it is a nice name. She did not respond. When the headmistress asked her if uh, India, uh, if uh, Cynthia isn't nice, she said uh, she did not reply. Yani, how about Cynthia? Isn't that nice? My sister was less easily intimidated. She was not afraid. And that's why she did not talk. Okay, anyway, later on, it happened that uh, the Indians, uh, before they got their independence, all the Indians uh, had to, to deal with this. Uh, I told before that uh, in some places, uh, the Indians and the dogs were banned from some buildings. It shows what kind of humiliation the Indians were leading at that time. Uh, we had at that time uh, an English, an Indian girl when the hero or the heroine, uh, Santa, was humiliated and she began to cry. We find that a fellow Indian girl was trying to comfort her, to give her some support but she could not do something in public. That's why she only was holding her, uh, her arm tightly, as if she was trying to hug her, to give her a hug. Of course, Santa appreciated uh, uh, what happened. Uh, we find that the, that same Indian girl was very longing, when, was very nostalgic when she saw Indian food with her friend because she was forced somehow to eat English uh, food. And we can find in this story all kinds of trying to erase, to wipe out the identity, the true identity of an Indian person. 
That's how we can find that it is it was a clash of identity, not a political clash, because we find that at that time of, uh, of your life, your child, you know nothing about politics, you know nothing about economics, but you know pretty things about your identity. The girl is Indian, and she was proud that she's Indian. That's why when she went back to school, when she, when she went back home, okay, she forgot everything that had to do with um, uh, what happened at school because she, as she said, or as she puts it, it all happened to uh, Cynthia, Cynthia, not to me. Okay, so I can find, or we can say, or we can infer that this girl is victorious in the end. And that the English occupation, or the headmistress, or that unfair system of education did not uh, achieve its aim, uh, which was to uh, make the Indians feel inferior. She, they did try to make them feel inferior, but we find that the girl who was weaker than her sister, yes, but at the same time, uh, she proved to be strong because at the end, uh, okay, it happened to another girl. It happened to Cynthia, not to Santa. I'm Santa. 